Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Have you ever had a date shake? Heck, I've had one go into convulsions. Today, we are in the California desert off I-10 and we are in search of the perfect date shake. And if you're not familiar with what that is, then uh, follow along with us and let's go find some. The first stop on our date shake tour is the Chireco Summit Coffee Shop. And um, I watched them make this, this shake. This is our first date shake. This thing is so thick, you can literally stand up a spoon. Let's try that. Stand up a spoon in there. And um, so theirs is made with vanilla ice cream and uh, date paste. Let's try some of that. That's nice, not too sweet. Let's try it through the straw. Mm. And it's really good. A lot of date flavor. The thing is, here, it's kind of like an oasis on the middle of I-10. And so like if you're going back and forth, there's really nothing else in the area. So if you stop by here and get a nice, cold, refreshing date shake, well, this one's pretty good. Oh yeah, that one's really good. So we'll finish this one and we'll head off for the next one. Okay, we're at stop number two right now and that's Shields Date Gardens in Indio, California. And Shields is more of a kind of roadside attraction. Their sign outside is a googie sign and it makes a lot of the roadside America places to see as far as roadside attractions go. They also have a tour of the date garden so you can actually go back and walk around. It's kind of religious themed. They just kind of walk around this little pond and you get to look at the date trees. Uh, they have a cafe. A uh, cafe runs till about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, you can sit up there uh, or you can sit here at the bar and you get a date shake as long as they're open. One of the fun things about Shields is uh, they have a movie called The Romance and Sex Life of the Date and uh, it's been showing since the 1950s. I think about 10 years ago or so they updated the film. They made it cleaner. And there's a little theater where you can go in and um, and watch this risque film about uh, dates. Now when you watch it, it's funny because you actually, to see how they cultivate dates, you think to yourself, well, how do they actually cultivate in the wild? How do they, you know, because it takes so much work to fertilize these date uh, date trees. But, uh, but still, watch the little movie and um, they tell you all about it. So they've been open since 1924, and then about the 1930s, they came upon the idea of the date crystals, which is basically they dried and crushed the dates, and then when they make the shake, they reconstitute it in water for about half an hour, and then they blend that with vanilla ice cream. And so that's what we have here. We have one of their famous uh, date shakes. Do you mind if we dance with your dates? Here we go. Mm. This one's also very thick. It's a little bit on the sweeter side. Um, and it's all, it's also, it seems to be like very consistent all the way through. So um, in some of the other date shakes, as you drink it, you get little bits and pieces of date and you're like, oh, I'll chew on that. And you get that um, sensation. This one, um, it just seems to be consistent all the way through. This one has a little bit lighter uh, date flavor. Um, the vanilla is really strong in here, so you can actually taste the vanilla ice cream in here. That's a pretty good shake. Well, I'm gonna try to finish this, then we're gonna hit the road, go on to our next stop. Okay, on our date with destiny, we are now in downtown Palm Springs, and we are at Palm Springs Fudge and Chocolate. And Palm Springs Fudge and Chocolate's been around for about 26 years, and they've been baking the date shake for about 26 years. They're actually famous for it, but you'd never know as you walk by. Maybe there's a little neon sign in the window that tells you they have date shakes, but other than that, uh, you wouldn't know that uh, it's the go-to place for date shakes in downtown Palm Springs. So the way they make theirs, or the way they've been making theirs for the past 26 years, is with date puree, milk, and vanilla ice cream. It seems like vanilla ice cream is the common denominator with all these shakes. And um, it's a nice, easy, manageable size. Let's give this a try. It's a 
it's a little bit thinner. Uh, it looks much thinner than the other. Mm. But it's thick to the straw. That one's really smooth. It's not lumpy, not chunky or anything like that. Consistent date flavor all the way through. Not too much vanilla. The vanilla is not overpowering though. And again, just the right size. So, actually, this is a damn fine date shake. So, we'll finish this, head off to our next place. So I walk into a food stand, I said, do you have nuts? The guy says, no. I said, do you have dates? He said, if I'd have nuts, I'd have dates. Well, Hadley's has both. They have nuts, dates, fruit. Um, Hadley started in 1931 in Pasadena, California, and then they moved out to Cabazon around the 1950s. Um, and they basically purchased a couple of old army barracks and they converted that to a store. And, uh, and they've been there ever since. Well, just recently, they just moved to a brand new facility and, uh, and that's where they are now. In 1999, the Hadley family sold it off to the Morongo Band of Mission Indians, and uh, they're the ones that own it and operate it currently. Uh, the uh, casino is maybe you know a short walk away, so um, we're going to try theirs uh, last, but not least. And they use a date paste, and they use a low-fat vanilla ice milk. So. Um, Theirs is creamier, uh, and, and basically it comes out of a soft serve machine, but you know, there's still some, uh, some texture to it. So we're going to go and give this a shot. Mmm. It's really thick at the bottom. Hard to get it through the straw. And oh my god, there's this powerful flavor of, uh, of uh, dates that comes through there. This probably has more date flavor than any of the other ones I've had so far. And using a vanilla ice milk, you, know, you would think it wouldn't be as thick. This is really like, really thick, really hard to come through the straw. There's little bits of uh, dates in there that come up, give me your mouth. This is really good. So this is a fine one to finish our tour with. And I suppose if I can look back, I'm gonna give all four of them a thumbs way up. I mean, they were all really, really good. Uh, very different, but all very good. Uh, I don't know that I would say one is like uh, the tops because they're all uh, very different. So my advice is for you to get out there and try those. Again, we just scratched the surface of the date shakes that are in this area because basically the date columns grow very well in this area. And so a lot of places have date shakes. But these are the four big ones. These are the four ones that are famous for their date shakes. Um, I suggest you get out here and give them a try. Let me know what you think. If you've already come out here and you've tried them, let me know. Um, but uh, definitely get out here, try the date shakes, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.